Welding is a big, big industry, and there's a lot of parts and pieces that go into it. The really high paying, high pressure pipe welding jobs, that's where the big, big money is. You know, my little story, my background, I dropped out of high school when I was 16 years old, and I was passionate. I wanted to weld bad, and I wanted to weld pipe, but it's not for everybody. There's structural steel, there's muffler shops, there's ornamental welding, there's you know high freak aluminum, there's aerospace, there's a hundred different little portions of this welding industry. And the big money generally is in nuclear repair or high pressure pipe. So to be in the top 1%, you gotta be skilled, you gotta be craftsman, you gotta be taught by the best. But more importantly, you gotta have the drive and the passion. You gotta have the work ethic. You don't just wake up one day and decide, I'm gonna do this. You need to take inventory of yourself. Do you have what it takes? Do you have the true grit? Do you have the passion, the love? Do you love looking through a two by four lens? Because if you do, and you have what it takes, you can make a tremendous amount of money. Uh, one of the most common industries out there is the ornamental industry. It's like more like metal art. The welding skill set, it's less about welding skill set and more about metallurgy and getting the metal to turn certain colors when you're, you know, flame drawing it or you're, you know, rosebud heating this, this metal art. Getting paid for that, that's a really creative space, but getting someone to pay you a lot of money to do that work, probably not gonna happen. Uh, that's more of a passion, you feel creative, not a lot of money in it. I would say the next up would be, you know, your muffler shops, your handrail, kind of like your light duty structural steel. Definitely a little bit more money in that. Uh, more skill, you need to be able to read blueprints, you need to be able to pull measurements and figure things out. Critical thinking is important, but still you're gonna be capped at probably, you know, 20 to $30 an hour. Above that, the next level of skill set is more in like the heavy industrial structural steel welding. So there again, that was what we would say like your shipyards, your iron workers, um, big structural steel, definitely more rigid workspace. You know, safety is a bigger concern, big cranes, uh, building sky rises, you know, big boats. The weld's gotta be made to a lot higher standard, but you're probably in that range, you're gonna, you're gonna top out at 30 to $40 an hour. The next step up is more of, from a skill perspective and a money standpoint, is more like low pressure piping to medium to high pressure. So these are, you know, process piping, hospitals, you know, big commercial spaces uh, like apartment buildings, you know, some of that kind of stuff. There's everything from breweries to dairy production plants, you know, and there, these are definitely a much higher skill. Some of the stuff is x-rayed, some of it's not, a lot of it's pressure tested, but you can make a lot of money. You know, you can make 40 plus dollars an hour working in that kind of environment, but the highest level is 100% x-ray, high pressure piping, nuclear powerhouses, pipelines, compressor stations, anything that's related to the energy because the energy infrastructure is so critical to our nation that they just don't play. You gotta get out there, you gotta be a grown adult with loyalty, respect, uh, accountability, and work ethic, and they're gonna pay you top dollar, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to perform at that level. That's the big leagues, right? You gotta be skilled and driven and you gotta be a complete master of your craft. Most of the work in the first tiers of, of the welding industry is I was talking about your muffler shops, your, your structural steel, ornamental. You know, a lot of that stuff takes place in fabrication shops. So these are controlled environment. You know, the skill set is generally lower and so the contractors try to control that environment with shop, overhead cranes. There's not a lot of weather in there but there is a high amount of redundancy. It's over and over and over. You're, in a sense, you're just a machine. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're the type of person that wants to show up to the same place, the same thing, the same people every day for 30 years, you would do great in that industry. One of the things about the, the big leagues and the top 1%, these are aggressive, traveling, high paying, high hours, you know, I would say, a lot of big, heavy equipment, a lot of moving parts and pieces, 
dangerous. It's not for everybody. But the choice really is yours. Welding is a massive industry. It is the first step in any man-made product. Rubber, steel, concrete, leather, food products, breweries, uh, dairy, it, it doesn't matter, computer chips. Every man-made product requires a welder. It's the first line, it's the first thing people look at, these big plant owners, it's the first thing they look at. Who is gonna weld the structural steel and the high pressure piping? Who's gonna do that work? So, choice is yours. Just a few facts about the welding industry and what you need to know about it, pros and cons, and really, it's up to you. If you wanna play in the big leagues, go to applytoweld.com. Thank you.